Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough to be doing it too. I'm Bushker, and this is the PUBG Mobile Shotgun Breakdown. I'm going to be looking at all the big boppers from the main weapon slots for the shotguns. I'm going to be looking at the uh, S1897, the Vanilla Gorilla, the five-shot pump uh, that is a delightful piece of work. I'm going to be looking at the S686, the super high-risk, super high-reward member of the shotgun family. And finally, we're going to be having a look at the S12K. Auto shotty that can in fact take AR attachments, which is really, really important and sets the gun apart from the rest of the shotgun variants. I'm going to have a look at the guns, talk about the stats, talk about the numbers, but then I'm going to talk about the real world applications of them and how you can make hay with these big boppers because they are absolutely the biggest boppers you're going to find. They excel in the early game. When people aren't fully kitted out, they don't have absolutely everything on, uh, they don't have the armor and such. They will just one shot all and sundry. The 1897 and the 686 in particular are mass damage monsters. Both of them fire nine pellets. In fact, so does the S12K. Each 12 gauge round has nine pellets. Each pellet does a maximum of 25 damage, apart from the S12K where the pellets do a maximum of 20 damage, which is the big difference really. But that doesn't matter. A 22 rather, not 20, what am I saying? Um, the 1897 is the Vanilla Gorilla because it kind of bridges the gap between the 686 and the Auto 12K. It is brilliant at clearing houses and cityscapes. All of these shotguns are, but the S686 is a little bit more geared towards solo play, whereas the 1897 is excellent in either solo or squad. The thing that holds this gun back is the time between pumps. It's a pump action, so you can see after every shot, you have that lovely animation where you flick the gun up and to the left, jam down on the stock, pump the action, and load another shell into the breech. But that takes three quarters of a second, 0.75 seconds. The S686, only 0.2 of a second to fire off that second shell. Then you're empty though. The S12K, 0.25 of a second to fire the shell, but does a little less damage. So you can see why I'm saying this is the Vanilla Gorilla. It's kind of like the modern shoddy, but a little bit of an old twist. So why would you use this in a squad over, say, an S686? When people are getting knocked, uh, that's great. You are able to knock them, but then you're able to finish them off and you're able to fight multiple targets very, very quickly because you can load five rounds. The 686, you'll knock someone, and then you've got to put another two shells in the clip, in the uh, in the in the breach rather, and then go and bang them again, and then do that again. Even when they've got, oh, how about that action? Woohoo! That's the 1897, baby. These shotguns, just phenomenal. So you get an 1897, and you can really duel. You can strafe, fire a couple of shots off, pull back, fire a couple of shots off, and while you're shooting you can also keep reloading very, very quickly. So it's much easier to fire and suppress. Now watch this, I'm gonna slow this down. And this is the big negative I have with this gun. I hit this first shot, I nearly wiped this target, but it takes so long to get that next pump out that I'm actually dead. Despite the fact that it hit, uh, I'm playing on the North American server, so my latency is really high. So we, we didn't get that second shot counting. And that's the big drawback on the gun. But it's far more user-friendly in terms of if you miss a shot and uh, and continuing to fight. Not so the 686. This is, and I've got to be honest, this is the one that I take 99 times out of 100. My reason being that the 686 is all about stopping power. And if you're running a shotgun late in game, you're doing it for nothing but that stopping power. So you want the one with the biggest, nastiest bark and bite. And that is this big bop out right here. Watch this. Say hello to my little friend. Whew. I mean, if you can get a shot set up like that, there is no way they can survive. The negative on the 686, if you miss, you're screwed. Like, let's just be honest. If they've got an AR or a UMP, you are screwed. You can see someone approaching a couple of hundred meters away. I'm trying to play a whole round with shotgun only. Uh, went predictably well. Uh, we, I think we got knocked uh, with five left, but 
you've got to have it as a secondary weapon and nothing else. Still, if you take your time, you can certainly do damage over 30 to 40 meters. The 1897 for me is the most accurate over, it can get kills at 40 meters maybe, uh, with some kind of consistency. The 686 with a choke can nearly get there with that. The 12K is horrific in that kind of situation. I found it to be the least effective the further the range went out. I mean, this is stupidly long. That was never gonna get him involved. All we were looking for there was to begin the engagement with an actual hit, maybe make him stand up and think about the world and what he's done, and then we'll get stuck in. What you wanna be doing with the 686 is you wanna play peekaboo. Uh, peekaboo is really, really simple. You get your shots and then you get straight behind cover again. You get your shots, you get straight behind cover again. You strafe out, you come in, you strafe out, you come in, like this. Bang, hide. Reload, bang, hide. Reload. And what you're doing there is you're getting rid of all the negatives of the gun, i.e. it doesn't have a lot of shells. So you're only firing when you've got one in the barrel. And he's running like a UMP or something. So he's firing all the time, but that doesn't make any difference because we're not getting hit. So it's called peak a boom. We want to peak a boom all the time, man. That's how we want to run the S12, uh, the S686. And if you can get the first two shots in at anywhere within say 20 to 25 meters, you're cane. Now I included this because this is in the name of science, man. I, I wanted you humans to see just how bad this weapon is at range and how ineffective so I picked a fight with a squad with uh, an S686. That's a hit shot as well. Like these are all hitting, but there's no one falling over because it's just too far outside the effective range. The shells just go absolutely everywhere and the spread's enormous and it just leaves you very, very disappointed. So what you wanna do with this gun is run it as a second. On a solo server, you will shred. It's brilliant. Uh, and I'm gonna show you another example of the whole peekaboo play style that I'm talking about here. Again, super ineffective at range. We're gonna go to the S12K here. Should have really used the S1897 there for a couple of shots, but we tried the 12K, uh, sorry, tried the 686. And then we're gonna go engage and I'm gonna go underneath the rim of the ridge just to the right of that garage and use that to pop, force him in there on the left. He's ducked around on the right hand side, reload push in and do the business. He's popping on that right corner just ahead of us. Complete reload. The other beautiful thing about this is you can, you can flick one shell into one target and then the second shell into the other if you're quick enough. I wasn't able to capture it, but it's a hell of a fun thing to do. Uh, and it's just super effective. But again, high risk, high reward. If you use this gun, you're gonna get a lot of love when it hits. If it doesn't hit, you're gonna be standing there with your pants down while you do a full reload. Got that first shell, you miss with it, you gotta hit with the second, and if you don't, well, you could be saying goodbye to uh, your tilt at a chicken dinner. Let's talk about the S12K now. Now this is the AR variant of shotguns, and it's no surprise that it's called the AR variant. I have no idea what that guy was doing. Um, it takes AR attachments. The key attachment for this is the extended quick draw magazine you can get on an AR. If you can get that, you can bolster it from a five shot gun to an eight shell magazine. And that's pretty important because an extra three shells is big, big damage output. It does slightly less damage than the other shotguns, 22 per pellet. Uh, the real noticeable difference for me is the drop off at range, the diminishing return for hitting a target at range seems to be increased with the S12K. That could possibly be because it doesn't take a choke attachment, which means you can't really increase the shell speed. And because you can't increase that shell speed uh, and the, the band that it hits in, the drop off at range, the dispersion is much, much larger. And it's very, very hard to fight the recoil on. The recoil is like a bucking, bucking freaking Bronco. But it should be really crazy because you're firing every 0.25 seconds. This one is ideally built for squad fighting. As you can see here, there's four in this squad. We're gonna kill this bloke, then we're gonna shoot both of the next guys and the, the, the guy in black just runs, he just bails, hey. Uh, he's, he's out of there, he gets hit for nearly all of his hit points and just leaves and then heads out of town. And then his mate here who turns up to loot, 
Uh, we tear them apart as well. And this is what the gun is built for. It's so much more effective in squad play for me than the S686. Not, not with the high reward, obviously, but you know, here's another example of the ranged here. And also a good, good example of why the eight shell capacity is pretty freaking cool. Like that's eight rounds off in such a short order and then reloaded and banging again. And that extended quick draw magazine, absolutely freaking brutal. For me, in squad play, this is your best weapon. In solo play, the 686 is your best weapon. And if you're looking for something that gives you a little bit in between, the one-shot stopping power of the S686 and the incredible high-end AR versatility of the 12K, then you want to run the 1897. I hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed making it. I actually played days and days of shotgun only. And I got really, really lots of joy. I got so much joy out of running around and derping people with these things. Anyway, make sure you subscribe. Stick around. Enjoy your time in the sunshine. Be nice to your mum. Walk the dog. And uh, as always, stay safe on the battlefield, you filthy grubs. <laughs> Just joking. Love you all.